A closely related point is that Rand is an advocate cognitively of a tabula rasa thesis. And this is uh, uh, a concept that gets used uh, broadly right in the literature to mean uh, different kinds of uh, theories of, uh, of human cognitive capacity. Uh, what Rand means by it is not the, the idea that somehow our minds are born as completely malleable right, lumps of clay right, upon which reality right, stamps itself. Right? We are born with conscious apparatus that have a particular identity that are responsive to certain kinds of features of reality that have to be used in certain ways if they're going to be used properly. All right, so we do have a whole set of cognitive capacities right, that we are born with, but what this means for Rand is that the content of our minds is initially empty. Right? So we don't actually have any knowledge right, or aware. We're not born with any particular memories. Uh, we're born with a capacity right, to retain right, uh, awareness of reality, but the actual content right, of our memories is going to be dependent upon the experiences that we have. We have an emotional capacity. We can experience contentment, joy, sadness, anger, resentment, right, and so forth. But what particular things are going to cause us to be anger or, or angry rather or the kinds of uh, particular beings with uh, with whom we have affectionate relations that is going to depend on the experience that we have so we have a cognitive capacity, for example, or a rational capacity to formulate opinions on, say, complicated moral issues like affirmative action or capital punishment. So our minds can form abstract opinions, but we're not actually born with any abstract opinions. Whether we uh, come to believe that capital punishment is a good thing right, or a bad thing, uh, that is going to depend on the experiences that we have, how we process those experiences, and the beliefs that we actually decide to form. Our uh, eyes are responsive to certain parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, so we have the capacity to respond to red, but we're not in it born with any red experiences, so to speak, and what particular red things are going to cause the appropriate parts of our, our sensory capacities to respond, that is going to depend on the actual uh, uh, objects that we happen to run into in reality. Quote, at birth, a child's mind is tabula rasa, he has the potential of awareness, the mechanism of a human consciousness, but no content. Speaking metaphorically, he has a camera with an extremely sensitive, unexposed film, his conscious mind, and an extremely complex computer waiting to be programmed, his subconscious. Both are blank. He knows nothing of the external world. He faces an immense chaos which he must learn to perceive by means of the complex mechanism which he must learn to operate." Unquote. So, Rand is an advocate of the primacy of existence. She is an empiricist, broadly speaking, and an advocate of tabula rasa. So, what we then need to do, uh, certainly uh, each of us as individuals as we're growing up, is uh, uh, make this commitment to using our cognitive apparatus objectively, tying it to, uh, tying it to our sensory uh, 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 data uh, explicitly, using the various formal methods that we can learn and take responsibility for all of the content right, that we end up uh, coming to believe right, in our minds. We're not predestined to believe anything or to have any particular kinds of emotions or a given kind of memory set. That really is up to us what we choose to stock our initially empty minds with.